Hey, hello everybody, welcome to my video review of The Walking Dead, Season 9, Episode 14. This one is titled, Scars. I apologize for the shakiness, obviously I am in my car. I This is the easiest place for me to, to do my re review right now. And... Yeah, here it goes. I've been having some computer issues, not wanting to upload, not wanting to record properly, so I went went straight to YouTube on my phone, and I'm just winging it. So, I thought this was a very good episode. It had, it was basically exactly as I predicted it. We had the flashback scenes, Children of the Corn, which... I did not expect it to get that dark. I'll be completely honest. I thought it would be maybe some outside group. They torture them a little bit. And let them, and let the, let them go. Something... Something, you know... Ex, you know, usual. Like... Something I expected on the, from The Walking Dead. Not this, like... Children of the Corn type stuff. That... That was creepy. I don't know if anybody's seen Children of the Corn. I've seen bits and pieces. I haven't seen the whole thing straight through, to be honest, but... That's just straight out of Children of the Corn. But... Don't get me wrong. It was well done. It was just crazy that how... All these kids... Were basically brainwashed to be this way by this lady who obviously just lost it. She just a couple wires snapped. That's all. But just the fact that she would do that to Michonne, who was her best friend in college, knowing she's pregnant. There's, there's no remorse. There's no going back from that. There's no. You know, all empathy goes out the window. You can't... There's no justification. There's no... No amount... Of... Oh, I was doing it to survive. That that whole thing. No. There's no justification for that. But... So I'll I'll go over the flashback scenes first, and then I'll go over the current stuff. So, flashback: Joss arrives at Alexandria, wounded. She wants to go back for the kids. They all go back for the kids. They get the kids. Hallelujah! Everybody's having slumber parties. They're reminiscing about the good old days in college, stuff like that. Michonne's talking about Rick, about this, that, how she's worried. Jocelyn says, you'll find him. You know, everything's good. And then they find a guard murdered and all the supplies taken. So they follow the footprints, lead to the sewer. And Daryl and Michonne track him. You know, Michelle is obviously pregnant at this point with RJ. That's the key tell with what's past and what's present. Is Michonne being pregnant and wearing different clothes. But, um... Other than that, you know, Daryl and Michonne go out, obviously... Michonne goes out, she finds Rick's gun. Both her and Daryl are still looking for Rick. They haven't given up, but you know, we all know what happened, but they there's nobody. You know, they've looked everywhere, they've scoured the river, there's no sign. 
You know, he could be dead somewhere. He could have been taken by somebody. They don't know. We know he was taken by somebody, but they have no earthly idea what happened. But, um, they find where the kids are. Daryl's shot with an arrow. With an arrow. And they're both, they're taken. And they're branded with the X. But the scary thing is just how the kids are just so just brainwashed by this crazy psycho lady that they're the ones doing it. And even Winnie that was it Winnie the one who branded Michonne? I forget. Anyway, that, that but just the fact that they would do that their escape plan is pretty cool. They both basically they split up Michonne kills kills kids. Jocelyn starts bashing her in, beating her up. Michonne gets cut by a kid on the stomach, so that was kind of scary. No, she's pregnant. Um, what else? Michonne stabs her in the leg and then kills her. And then the kids charge at her, she kills the kids she's able to talk Winnie down and Winnie runs Judith almost doesn't recognize her but then she runs to her after seeing that it's actually her she didn't recognize her because of all the blood as revealed in a post you know, in the current in the current timeline (coughs) excuse me so, flash forward to the present. They're done. Such, they're intertwined. That's why I feel it was difficult for people to figure out that. Oh, what, what was the flashback? Because Daryl's arriving at the gate with Lydia, Henry, and Connie, and then in the flashback, she's Jocelyn arrives at the gates wounded with. Being escorted by such and such, whoever. Uh, was it Scott? Is, it, is his name Scott, the one who, the act who's married to Senegal Martin Green, who played Sasha? I forget his name, but him. I believe it's Scott. Anyway, so both timelines begin with that. Somebody arriving at the gates of Alexandria. That is similar. Sorry. <coughs> and um so that happens. They both big you know, focus on the same theme. Letting people in, helping people, caring for people. And obviously this event was so traumatizing to Michonne that she refused to open herself, open Alexandria up to the point of distancing herself. And Alexandria from the hilltop, kingdom, and oceanside. I understand not letting new people in because of it, but Carol, just like to heck with you, Carol. Maggie, I hate you. You're done. Tara, Jesus, you're all to hell with all of you. Like, like where? What? I don't know. Why this event caused Michonne to just turn her back on everybody who was who she considered considered family? I don't know about you, but I don't think Rick would would approve. I don't think he would agree, and he definitely would not have done the same thing. So, there's not that much going on in the present. Uh, Judith is upset. She goes off <coughs> after talking to Daryl about the importance of helping people. Daryl's more like, yeah, keeping you guys safe here is the most important thing. On his initial plan to just take Henry Lydia and just go off somewhere. Um, Judith Judith is the king of, is the queen of just 
dinging people just the right way. She got Michonne by saying, you you changed. And then she got Daryl by saying, what, what would my dad do? Knowing full well, her dad would go and help everybody that he could. That's why Daryl couldn't respond, because he knew she got him. He knew that she was right, that helping people is the right way to go. And Michonne has a little talk with uh, what's her, with um, Lydia about just her being responsible for just her life, not everybody else. Just taking, just leaving. And um, Judith just le- Judith just leaves, leaves in the middle of dinner and just goes off on her own. Um. So, anyway, she leaves, she's killing some walkers, she goes off to f- help the hilltop, she took the little bike, pretty cool little bike, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, um, Michonne finds the letters, saying, sorry mom, I have to go help, I have to go help the, our friends, Michonne goes off, kills Walker, saves Judith from Walker that's about to get her. And they have a talk about that day when she thought Judith didn't recognize her. And... I think this, at this moment is key in helping Michonne change her mind about the fair, about everything. She was already, but I think now she's fully on board with we gotta help our people. These are our family. They're not just friends. We gotta help them. So I think that's key. That was a key moment. Judith and everything Judith did and said that was key. And then at the end, everybody goes to the kingdom. I love that little car thing they had with the horses pulling the car. Miss Sharon and Judith are on the way to the fair. They bump into Henry <coughs> and Daryl and them, and yeah, that's about it. Oh no, wait, that's not about it. Flippin' Whispers are we're following Daryl and them, and they follow everybody to the kingdom, and then they're gonna report back to Alpha. So trouble it will come to the fair. I will not say what. I know what. But it is safe to say, whether you're a comic book reader or not, you know something bad is going to happen. Alpha know, now knows where the kingdom is. She also knows where Hilltop is. So, it's safe to assume episode 15, we will... I know Alpha was in the promo... She will be there. I'm assuming she goes to the kingdom. Since that's where everybody is going. I'm assuming she's going there. And we'll just see how it plays out. It is an extended episode. It, by it, The official timing is 9 o'clock to 10.25 on Sunday. So that usually means something... Big because we didn't even have that big of a premiere for season nine. Mm, it was a little bit extended, but I don't know if it was that extended. You know, no, I think it was, but other than that, we really haven't had that many of the season. Typically, it's just premieres, mid-season premieres, finales, mid-season finales, things of that nature. But for it to be episode fifteen out of the blue. I mean, it happens randomly. We had that Morgan Eastman episode, which was randomly, was like episode four or something in that season, so who knows. Well, I'm going to cut this video here, going on 15 minutes. Uh, I'm going to give you my score, which is a perfect 10. I loved it. 
not that much happen in terms of the, the quant, quantity, but we have the quality. Didn't have a lot of characters, but it was a very impactful episode. Emotional, dark. Explained what's something that needed to be explained that people would be complaining and moaning and groaning if it didn't happen. But we got the explanation. Now we can progress with the current storyline with the remaining two episodes. So, top five moments. Five is the decision to go to the fair by Michonne, basically for her to go and help everybody. For, oof, this is a tough one. Four, 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 four. Okay, you know, just, you know what, just beat them, the whole thing with Michonne and Daryl being captured, their escape plan. Three, <coughs> Judith's crazy, Judith leaving, going on her little mini killing spree, and Michonne and her having that chat. Two is Michonne just having to, you know, kill her former best friend and the kids, that was just crazy. And one, the whisper knows about whispers now know about the kingdom where it is. That just because of sheer the outcome that is going to have, that weighs heavily on this ep- on the way I rank rank it in this episode. And Walker killed the week is just going to go to whatever Walker or Judith killed. She's just like cutting the legs and just stabbing them. That was pretty badass. <clears throat> but that's going to be it for this video. I'll see you in a few minutes for my predictions. And yeah, that's about it. Deuces, everyone.